Marcus Scotty reporting on Joe Biden, creepy Joe Biden back in the news, not grabbing teenager ass or tits or whatever he does, a old lady ass. Uh, but this time he's he's begging. He's caught in New York on his knees begging rich people for money. Please give me your money. I need you. I need you. Uh, what the hell is going on now? Right? So this is the Democrats' pick. Uh, they're picking, right? Democrats pick the candidate. Right? They don't. There's no fair elections. Right? So they're picking Joe Biden, right? This is the shit sandwich. Joe Biden. They want to shove everybody, shove down everybody's throat because it's going to be, you know, different. Right? It's going to be different than than the current, you know, uh, age of Trump. Right? So, so let's look at the story. Right? Here we go. So Joe Biden on Tuesday. Uh, uh, reassured a room full of mega-rich donors that, quote, nothing would fundamentally change if he wins the presidency in 2020. Hardly the stuff progressive Democrats dream of uh, dreams are made of. Speaking to a full room of wealthy donors in New York City's Carlyle Hotel, Biden said he would not demonize the rich and promised that their lifestyles would not change under his watchful eye. The Hill reported, Oh, you scumbag, right? No change. Right? No change. Why? So, so if you're not going to change anything, that means that there's no problem, right? There's no problems in America. Because you're not going if to, you're, if you're saying to rich people you're not going to change anything, then you're confirming that there's no problem. And then how do you turn around and say Trump is, is destroying the country? Right? Trump is doing what all politicians have always done and what you plan to do, which is nothing, which is listen to the donors, take their money, and, and then turn around to the people, fuck you, after the election's over. Go, go to the White House and shut the door. Say, look, I'm president. Look how fucking cool I am. Man. I'm, I'm cool. Look. I, 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 I con the, the entire country into voting for me or manufacturing con the consent to be elected, and uh, here I am. This is what he said. Quote, I need you very badly. Oh, creepy motherfucking Joe Biden. Fucking. I need you badly. I need you. Help me. I need you. Fucking. <laughs> this guy's a creep. Biden told the room, explaining that he had got in trouble with some of his team for defending the rich. <sighs> he got in trouble with some of his team for defending the rich. Right? But said he did, he did it. He did it because, quote, rich people are just as patriotic as poor people. <laughs> he was also defending the rich when he told the rich he was not, he was defending them. The, the bottom line is you're in a room, right? I've been to these kind of events. I've seen them. I've been there. I've done that. Right? Not as a, it's a long story, but nonetheless, I was in the room and I've seen these rich cocksuckers. They, I don't know what the, what the, the, the cost of this, oh, 2,800. I think I said 15 grand. Uh, so $2,800 a, a plate at the $34 million penthouse belonging to Jim Can Chantos, Chanos, I don't know, look him up, Jim Chanos, um, C-H-A-N-O-S, Jim Chanos, billionaire. All right. and, uh, and there he is, probably in his house. Uh, he's got a couple of tables set up. I, I know these things. Or it's a, he's, you know, it, it looks like a sit-down at $2,800 a person fundraiser. Uh, they what are they serving? Or they're serving hors d'oeuvres. So it could have been a cocktail party. It's a stand-up cocktail party. You go in there. You're not invited. You, you'll never get in there. You'll never see it. But if you have been to something like this, it's essentially you're in a rich guy's house. You go into Manhattan. You go up the elevator. The, all of a sudden, you you feel like you're in a in a country home. All right, the guy owns four floors in this building. All four floors, are rolling staircases, and Picasso on the wall, and Basquiat, right? And you're in you're in this giant area, and and they'll hold a cocktail party, and and there'll be you know, you know, two hundred rich cocksuckers, right? And the the printout of all their names, who gave the money, right? Because that's very important. Joe Biden's going to leave that that list. He's going to leave it that list with all their names on, and say, "All right, you guys, I got you, man. I got you covered. Thank you, man. I need more. We can't stop here." Right? It's, it's begging. It's begging rich people and, and, and basically telling them, you're going to get all, all your tax breaks. Nothing's going to change. Don't worry about it. Even if I say some shit off the podium, I'm, I'm trying to help the people, get them health care. It's all bullshit. Don't listen to any of it, man. 
most importantly, you see that Bernie Sanders guy over there? He actually means that shit. So you better stop that motherfucker, right? Because that guy's crazy. That guy wants to give universal health care without paying a dime to, to everybody. What the fuck kind of shit is that? How are we going to make money? Right? This shit is crazy. You got to stop that guy. And the way you stop that guy is you give me money and we go against Trump. And even if I lose, what difference does it make? Because it's still the same shit, right? Nothing will change, right? He just told you nothing's going to change. All right. So, so anyway, um, no one's more, no one's standard of living will change. Nothing would fundamentally change. And when you say fundamentally, you mean mo- money, right? Biden told a room of less of 100 less than progressive supporters. So, all right, so there it is. It's 100 people uh, who were served lobster hors d'oeuvres. 100 people, you add two zeros to 2,800. How much is that? I can't do the math. 2,800. Uh, 20, so he made 200 grand, right? He, he, he grossed $280,000, right? That's what it is. For 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 to, to to just get in front of a cocktail party of rich fucks, and beg them, and and stick his foot in his mouth, right? Was it worth it, Joe? Was it worth it? You got you two hundred eighty grand, but now now this shit is 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 there, right? Right? Because the eyes, the 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 walls have ears, right? Good good work, Hill. Good work, Hill. He's not disputing it. Biden's not disputing it. He's not denying that he said it. Here's more. I have a great deal of respect for Vice President Biden, Senator Kamala Harris of California told reporters, but to coddle the reputations, oh, that's that's a different story. That's some other bullshit. The, the Kamala Harris with, with the racism, the segregation, and the repu, repuation, repression, giving money to fucking slave families of, of historical slaves. It's so ridiculous, man. Stop it. Uh, Democrats are spinning out of control, man. They're, they're just... They're just a, it's just a disgusting pit of money grabbers. Now, anybody, now having known this, right, this is documented, right? This is now documented evidence of creepy Joe Biden going to the rich homes, knocking on their door and saying, give me the money. Come on, please. Come on, give me some money, man. Nothing will change, man. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. See those people out the window? Fuck them. I'm with you, man. Nothing will change. You give me, you pay me off. You pay me because money is speech. Give me the money. Speak to me in terms of money. Give me the money, and I'll and I'll get you the favor. You see how it works? Do you see how quid that is quid pro quo? That is, give me the money and I get you a favor. Now they'll say, oh no no, you can't prove that because where's where's the the actual favor? And right, and they did that with Hillary Clinton, right? But now it's it's acceptable practice. You have to change the law. Overturn Citizens United, right? If you give money, there's a lot of ways to do it, right? But that's essentially, in the old days, we used to call that bribery, where you where you 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 offer a favor, and someone because of your position, your government position, they give you money, and then you execute that favor. That's called bribery. That's that's the definition of bribery. Right? But now it's legal. Now it's 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 all legal, right? Now here's the other thing, right? You could say, well, well, isn't Reaching out to the public and asking for twenty-seven dollars, maybe I don't know, twenty bucks, right? And, and getting millions of people to give you twenty bucks—is that bribery? No, that's called running a fair campaign, without any, with, with no, no direct promise other than lifting the country out of its problems, which is universal single-payer health care, the need for that, and all the other things that we talk about. Getting money out of politics, stop the insurgency wars, regime change wars, right? Stop the 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 fake the fake false flag wars, right? These incidences of of instigating foreign countries. Stop all that stuff to keep the military industrial complex going, right? All those things. That's what you give. If you give a little bit of money to a, to a candidate, that's what you that's what you get, right? And that's a noble thing, right? Giving some giving money to a politician, some rich cocksucker giving money to a politician, so that he doesn't. So that he doesn't jack their taxes up to pay for all the bullshit that this country is, this you know, causing the country to spiral down the drain. Right? That's that's the difference. Right? There's a big difference there, right? One could make the argument that well, he's just he's just campaigning, but no, he's telling you he's going to say that we're going to make America magnificent again, fantastic, everything's going to be great. Trump is a disaster and a demagogue and it's horrible, and now he's going to come in and he's going to do what? 
It's going to do what? It's going to do nothing in his own words. It's nothing. Uh, so, Marcus Conte reporting. Thank you, Joe Biden. 